going on everybody today we're going to learn how to install custom themes onto our adrenaline app and it's fairly easy to do all we have to have is either auto plugins one or two already installed on our vita and i'll have links in the description down below for the vpk so you can install them and we'll be using those applications to install the cxmb plugin uh, directly onto our Vita using the Wi-Fi connection and it also sets it all up for adrenaline which is nice and I don't have anything set up here and we're gonna start fresh and show you step by step how to get that nice custom feel to your XMB and have fun with that so uh, let's get started and I will exit out of the application here and now let's go into our Vita shell and we have two ways to connect to our PC and it's either FTP client or USB connection so we'll go ahead and get started with the FTP client and press start and from there you can either go to the FTP selection or USB under the select button so I'll go and use FTP for now press select and now we are running on our server, FTP server. Let's head on over to our desktop and open up our FTP client. And I have FileZilla. It's a very easy application to go through. And let's go into our history and connect here. Perfect. All right, so when it comes to the themes here, I already have a lot of stuff backed up from my old PSP. And I have some for 6.60 and also old stuff that I kept throughout the years. And I'll be installing all of these and seeing if any of those work. So we have different custom themes at different various firmwares. So we have 6.20, 5.00 M33. So we'll test these out and see if it works in the adrenaline app in order for us to access that themes folder in our Vita we're gonna go into our UXO folder and from there we're gonna go down to the PSP EMU emulator PSP emu go into the PSP folder if you don't see the themes folder here we want to right click create directory and rename that theme T-H-E-M-E -E. and that'll be it and any of the themes you already downloaded, you can go ahead and start adding these into that folder. So I'm gonna select all and add those in there. And this will take some time since I have so many different themes that I'd love to test. Everything has been transferred and now moving on to auto plugins too, if you don't have this already. I'll have a link in the description down below for you so you can install it. And here it is, Auto Plugins 2 version 1.07, last updated May 14th, 2020. So we can hit that download. There's our VPK showing our folder. It looks like I downloaded it twice, but uh, this is our VPK, perfect. Let's go back on our FTP client. And you can just throw that into your UXO folder. And I do have a VPK folder for all of my uh, files there. So you can just drag that into there. So now I'll demonstrate how to do this through USB connection. Back on our Vita, I'm gonna cancel the FTP server. Go back to start. Go through the select button, USB. Then press select. And now we're connected through USB connection. Go back to our desktop. And we're going to open folder to view files. Perfect. Here is all of our folders under our USB drive. And I don't see the PSP emu folder. And I'll show you how to enable that. I am using Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. And if you are on Windows 7, it should be the same steps that I'm going to show you here in just a second. So on the top, we'll go to the view tab and go into options, change folder search options. And then a little window pop up, go into view. And at the bottom, we will uh, go down to, let's see here, high protected operating system files recommended. So we're gonna uncheck that. And it gives you a warning window. So you're just gonna say yes, apply. 
hit OK. Here is our PSP emu folder and we can still go through it even though it's faded. Let's go into our PSP themes and there are all of our themes that we already installed. So uh, if you don't have the themes folder, all you have to do is right click, go to new folder and name that themes, all caps. And then you can start copying all of your themes into this folder and you'll be good to go. Now to install auto plugins too, I'm gonna go into our UXO folder, go find that VPK we installed. And here is auto plugins too. And we wanna press X. Do you want to install this package? Say yes. And we wanna hit yes again. And now it will install. And there we go. So now you should see a auto plugins application just like this with puzzle pieces. Let's start it up. And now we're going to go down to the PSP plugins, Adrenaline. Let's go to PSP plugins for Adrenaline. And we want to install the CXMB.PRX plugin. So let's press X to install. And there we go. So press start to exit auto plugins. Now we're going to go into Adrenaline. Start that up. We don't have to do anything. From here we can go straight to our settings, go into theme settings. And now we'll see all of our different custom themes here. Perfect. And it looks like for the most part, all of the themes that I installed are going to work. So let's try one of these and it looks like only the 6.61 version themes are working. So let's try this one here, one of my favorites. Perfect. It looks really good. Very nice. So this is the Macintosh or Mac OS theme. Very good. Very nice here. So that is how you install custom themes onto your Adrenaline app. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.